हेलो एवरी वन नाउ लेट्स लुक टूवर्ड्स द डिज़ीज विच वी हैव हेयर विच इज़ द फर्स्ट आर्ट सिंड्रोम द फर्स्ट आर्ट सिंड्रोम एज द नेम सजेस्ट इट इज़ हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द फेरेंजियल आर्चेज ओके यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इट इज़ हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द फर्स्ट फेरेंजियल आर्चेज बाई द वे डू यू नो हाउ मेनी फेरेंजियल आर्चेज डू वी हैव इन टोटल बिकॉज देर इज़ अ स्मॉल कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी टूवर्ड्स इट सो इफ यू नो जस्ट लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन दैट हाउ मेनी फेरेंजियल आर्चेज डू वी हैव इन टोटल ओके कमिंग बैक टू द टॉपिक वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट फेरेंजियल arch syndromes so it is happening because of the first pharyngeal arch which is majorly responsible to give rise to your mandible region as well as a major part of the maxillary process also so in short i can say that the first pharyngeal arch gives rise to my jaws okay and if anything goes wrong in the first pharyngeal arch any defect comes in there what will not form are the jaws majorly okay so let us see what major points we have regarding this topic it is a congenital defect that is it could be seen from the period of birth itself secondly there is failure of neural crest cells to migrate into the first pharyngeal arch okay so the neural crest cells are not able to migrate into the first pharyngeal arch due to which there is a first arch syndrome or defect seen in the baby now what does it gives rise to further as you see it is not just a syndrome but syndromes so the first arch is going to give rise to two syndromes that is the peri robin syndrome and the trico colin syndrome now in a broad way in the next video i'll tell you about what is this syndrome and what is this syndrome till now you just need to know that first arch syndromes are the congenital defects which are seen due to the failure of neural crest cells when they are not able to migrate into the first pharyngeal arches which gives rise to two conditions that is the peri robin syndrome and the trico colin syndrome